as you can see, she is an actually very, very cool prototype. I do not understand why she was not released. She was definitely made for spirit. And if I had to guess, she was made for 2018 in the farmhouse. That's what we came to conclusion about. And she would have either gone and lost her ways spot or rocking horse dolly spot. But of course, we don't have any confirmation on that. So we don't know. Her head and hands are resin. So she is fragile. And there is also supposed to be a light that flickers in her head or just stays lit. Because of course, we don't know. Um, I am not going to attempt to fix it because one, she looks way creepier without it. And two, there is not a big enough gap under her neck for me to get my hand in there or just any utensil at all and break the glue off of the light to get it out. If I had to guess, it would be like a yellow orange or a blue to match her dress. But we really don't know. And I could get in there, but like it'd be a really, really high risk of breaking the head and I do not want to take that risk. But yeah, um... She does not, uh, her poles have, here, hold on, let me unplug her so she doesn't keep going on. But, um, she does have a typical twitching base. There's some tape from the packing because she had the base tape down and everything. Like, there's her poles and everything. But her arms actually do not have, like, the sealant on them. Like, the, the actual, oh, focus. Her arms do not have the black sealant. So, like, if this got wet, it could rust. But, of course, it's not going to be used in a display, so it will not. Um, I will actually turn her around. Oh, my God, I hate that noise. And show the inside of the back for you. There is some Chinese writing back there, but I have not translated it. So, of course, if any of you guys want to translate it, be my guest. Uh, there's the writing. It's your typical... Well, here, let me get a close-up. Okay. It's your typical SVI setup and control box. Twitching mechanism. She has trouble twitching because of how heavy her head is because the resin. Uh, she's got a chest plate like Twitching Banshee. And this does come off. I was kind of worried because I didn't see it in the box at first. But it was under all the packing. And, of course, her head is a spring. As you can see in there. She has to have the Velcro on or her head flies completely everywhere. And I do not want it to snap. But of course, you, you've got to set it up the way it's supposed to be. Or else these things will not last. If I can try and do this with one hand. Okay, well, I'm actually surprised I did that. Okay, I'll go through her phrases one more time. Um, she is actually my favorite prototype that I have now. Um, it was Cryptical, but now it is her. She is just so creepy. Whoops, I just knocked her waist bracket off it's probably gonna fall down while she's activating okay there it goes um but yeah waist bracket that's not a big deal it's not like it's her head or anything oh wait actually let me try and get this light closer so you can see the light that's inside of her head i don't know how easy this is going to be to do can you? Okay, yeah, uh, you can see it right there. There's the light that's in her head. I don't. Ha I have no idea what color it's supposed to be. But like I said earlier, I'm not going to try and fix it because that is just too dangerous to do with something like this that is resin. But yeah, she has kind of a Victorian style. I guess that's what you would call it. Don't take my word for that or bash me in the comments because I do not exactly know that particular particular type of style. Yeah, I'll plug her in and show her phrases one more time. I will put the phrases in, uh, in a pinned comment because I know that they're kind of hard to understand. But yeah. And she also does have constant mode and volume control, like, of course, typical SVI stuff like I showed you on the control box.
The twitching movement was a very weird choice, but oddly fitting for her. Because, like, of course, she has, like, the wind-up and, like, the power-up sound effects, and I feel like that motion kind of fits her. She's just super creepy. I do not understand why this was not released. This would have been a pretty good seller. I, I honestly feel like it could have came back the next year. She's just so creepy. Here, let me actually unplug her again and get a nice close-up of her face. You can see, like, all the detailing and everything in her face. She's super, super creepy. And, yes, yeah, she does have paint chips, like you can see, like, up there on her eyebrow and right there on her lip. But, yeah, she's overall one of my favorite prototypes that we have seen from, like, any company. She's just so creepy. And, like, the aging on her dress is amazing. Um, let me actually get you a close-up of her hands. Because I, I didn't really do that. You can see... Like the cracks and everything. She's just incredibly creepy. She's just so cool. But yeah. Uh, I made an offer to the seller and it got accepted. I paid roughly about 400 shipped for her. Which is not a bad price at all. She's, she's just so awesome. I... Literally, I'm going to keep saying that. She's just so awesome. I do not understand why she didn't get released. Kind of stupid. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe.